imagine you have this photo of your grandfather and this photo of his mother. And you'd really like to have a photo of the two of them together. The best way that I have found to do that is to combine the two and then use layer masks um, to get rid of the old backgrounds and then you create a new background. The first thing I would do is use the lasso tool and do a rough selection of the lady. And this can be very rough. Then use your move tool. Single left click and hold. Drag her onto this tab with your grandfather and then drop her in the middle of that photo. Now as you can see she's the wrong colors, the wrong size. There's some um, adjustments that you're going to have to make. The first thing I would do is I would crop it larger so that everything is showing up for you. So you have the whole window to work with. And it's hard to see what you're doing with the lady blocking the boy, so I turn the opacity down so I can see him through her. Go back to my move tool. She's too big for this photo. So we go to Edit, Transform, Scale. Now when you're doing this, you want to hold down the shift key and that will retain the proportions. Otherwise you'll change her size. You'll go left and right only or up and down only and then she'll get all distorted. So hold the shift key. Go to the corner where you get this little double arrow. Left click and hold and drag her down to a smaller size. Now, you can drag her around, put her about where you think she would be, and see if you think she looks the right size. She might be a tad too large. Take her down just a little bit more. Okay. And we can always come back and change that again. Um, now comes the fun part is layer masks. Over here uh, it's the third icon over. Click on that. The layer masks kind of work like um, an eraser with the exception of it saves all the pixels so that you, if you erase too much you can easily go and put them back. Uh, with an eraser tool, if they're gone, they're gone. The, uh, I use the brush for this the black masks things out and the white brings them back. So I'm going to switch over to black, get a decent sized brush, and I'm just going to start masking out where she's covering up the little boy. And I'm just going to do this really roughly and the chair just mask that out. I'm going to get a bigger brush so I don't spend all day masking. Just get rid of all that. And I'm also going to take her off here. Turn the opacity up so I can see her better. I don't like the way the little boy is facing one way and the little girl or the woman is facing the other. So I'm going to edit, transform, flip horizontal. Now they're both facing the same direction. Now, however, she's in the wrong position. Let me move her back over. And I want her kind of tucked in behind him a little bit. And there we go. 
back to the brush. And I'm going to bring some of her back in. Switch back over to the black. Clean that up. And zoom in here. I'm just switching back and forth between the white and the black and just refining the mask and getting it the way I want it to look. And I'm going to eventually have to switch to a smaller brush. I don't like this corner here. Um, I think it'll be okay. I'm just switching back and forth. And we will definitely refine that more as we go. I see the wonderful thing is if I go too far, it's very easy to bring it back. Okay. Now that I have the two of them in a photo together, and I th think the proportions are about right, I'm going to go ahead and desaturate these. Go to image. Adjustment, desaturate, that takes all the color out. I'm going to do the same with the little boy, even though he looks like he's already in black and white. Still going to do that anyway. Now I need some sort of a background. Um, I have one open here. and I got this from DeviantArt. They have a lot of free backgrounds. Um, I switch to the Move tool. Again, just grab it and drag it until you get to the tab where your photo is. Drag it down here and drop it. This is way too small. So um, first let me turn the opacity down so I can see through it. Now we go to Edit, Transform, Scale. Now remember to hold the Shift key down while you're scaling and that retains the proportions. I'm going to scale it up until I like the way it's going to look. Um, uh, let's see, I want some of those flowers in the photo so I'm going to scoot it over a little bit. Scoot down, oops, down a little. That looks pretty good. You can either click the check mark or you can just double click and it will set that transformation. Accept it, I mean. Okay, now we have this background. And rather than going back and recoloring all of that mask in, I am going to hit the control key and then I'm going to single click on the mask of the other layer and that reselects it for me. Then I'm going to, this is still active, I'm going to click a mask there. Well that worked backwards than I expected. Okay, never mind. Let's go back and we will control and click on that mask. Looks like we're going to have to manually do it. So I'm going to switch to my brush, get a bigger size, 
I'm going to go in here and because I have that selected, oops, I'm getting ahead of myself. I have to put my mask back in. Now maybe I'll have it right. <clears throat> I'm going to select that again. Um, my mask is what's active. Now I'm going to mask that back out again. Now what I'm covering up now is that background that I added. I'm going to bring that lady back in. Then I'm going to unselect that deselect. I'm going to start bringing the boy back into the photo. And I do have a tendency to do it really loosely and then go back and refine it. I like working with bigger brushes when I can. Just get that out of the way. I'm going to turn this back up so I can see it. And turn this down. Do my edges, switch back over to the white, Put some of this back in. You don't want a white halo around your person because that will definitely make them look pasted on. I'm using a fairly large soft edged brush. I don't like harsh lines either, soft edges. Here's that corner I wasn't too happy about. Just go around all the edges, zoomed in. Get rid of that old background. Not every photo is different. Not all will work together this way. Um, some the poses, the lighting, everything is just completely different and just you won't be able to get it to work out the way you want it to. But these two I think fit together fairly well. Now to make my life easier here I'm going to crop some of this out. I'm going to pull this side all the way up to here because I don't want to have to recreate the other half of that chair. The composition is a little odd because of the way they're posed. Um, it's going to be a tall skinny photo. Um, okay. Uh, now they're all a little bit different as far as um, exposures so I'm gonna go through each one click on the background which is the little boy I'm gonna image adjustment levels and I like to pull this slider up to right where the histogram starts going up and I pull this one back to where right where it goes down click OK and I'm going to go to this layer, which is the lady. Do the same thing for her. Pull that up. Pull that one down. Click OK. The background as well. Image adjustment levels. Pull that up. Pull that one down. Now that one I'm not too crazy about how bright that gets, so I'm going to keep that one a little off. And you can also adjust these mid-tones 
which I think I will. And now you can double check for any white halos now that you've adjusted all of the levels. I do see a little bit right here. Make sure you actually click the mask, which is the second little box here. You don't want to make changes on the photo. You want to be on the mask. My brush back. And I think I want the black color. And then, I, oops, I was wrong. I want the white color. And then I'm just going to mask this in a little bit. Bring that background up to the edge of the lady to get rid of that white halo. And anywhere else you might see it. Go down here to the little boy and just make a quick fix right here. I'm just using the spot healing brush. Just click once. Get rid of that little white dot. There's a little dot there on the lady, and there's actually something that's bothering me on the background right here. Get rid of that. Now, I'm not going to spend all day refining this, but I hope this gives you an idea of how to combine um, two, two different photos into one and uh, group these together this way. The main thing is is making them look the same tonal quality. Um, one shouldn't be lighter, one shouldn't be darker. You should try to kind of get them to match. Um, after this it's simple to just add a new layer, change it to soft light, um, pick you a uh, flush color, which I'm not too good at doing this manually. Ah, find you a flesh color. And you can start colorizing the photos. I hope this helps. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.